Hello everyone, this is Mr. Powers. Today I'm going to show you how to do flats. First thing you need to do, is one of the funnest things we do, is um, just like a giant digital coloring book. We are going to just fill in these colors on a different portion of the body. And we already did a little bit of this, but it's a little different now in that how we use the layers. All right, let's get started. I'm going to hit the lasso tool, and I've made a separate layer for you, and that's going to be the pants. So we're just going to call this jeans or pants. Next, I'm going to use the lasso tool, going to zoom in. And my goal is to get the pants. Now, what a lot of students will do is um, kind of just use the magic wand tool. That doesn't work very well. So we want to. The reason why is that it won't collect. It won't select everything. This takes a little bit longer, but not a lot. And this also helps whenever you are printing it. If it were sent to a professional printer, it would have several different runs. Now notice what I'm doing here is I'm standing in the middle of those black lines, and you might be thinking, why is he clicking all over the place? What I want to do is periodically um, hit enter so that I don't lose my selection. A lot of students get really frustrated whenever they get so close. And what I did now is I have a selection. Now from now on, I have to hold shift. But... If I mess up and the mouse moves off the, the screen and the, the selection is all messed up, I can just um, hit Control-Alt-Z to undo it. Now I'm holding Shift. It's going to add some more to our selection. And once I feel like I've, I've done pretty well here, all right, hit that, hit Enter. All right, got some more to our selection. Let's we'll scroll down. Looks like I'll let them miss a little bit right here. Hold on. I'm holding shift. I'm going to add to this selection. I'm staying in the middle of this black line once again so that if I were ever had a professionally uh, image professionally printed, it would, uh, uh, the overlap that would happen would be taken care of. Um, sometimes colors don't register perfectly whenever you have printers that print, like a separate printer for each color. Uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. All right, moving on. So here we go. And I'm going to hit enter. And I've already finished, but zoom in a little bit. You can see I've almost finished half of the pan already. That means a good portion of this image is done. All right, so I'm holding shift. I'm going to add to the rest of this. Um, I can't really see really well because of my layers palette, so I'm going to move. I can see, and I'm just going to use that, I guess, as my guide. I'm holding Shift to add to the selection. And then I hit Enter. Moving on, I'm almost done. Shift. All right, so our next step is going to be, um, we want to choose a color for these pants. Now, I've already done this lesson, so I'm going to use the same uh, colors that I used before. Um, if you're ever out buying a book and you want to see this, this is a, from a book called Hi-Fi Color for Comics. Um, very, very helpful and a lot of fun. Uh, and it will improve your own. I missed a little piece there. Um, it will improve your own drawings and rendering. All right, here we are. Now, if you remember from our previous um exercise, all you have to do is hit Alt-Delete with your color. So I've got this selected. I drop her tool. I'm just going to grab a color. You can change. You can go over here and change it to whatever color you want. But watch what happens. When I hit Alt-Delete, it's going to cover something. Suddenly, I can't see pants. So what you have to do is just drag this pants layer underneath this one. Because this is our line part. The line art should always be on top. In fact, you could even lock this layer so that it has no problems. All right, so you have your line art. You have a color pants. Now, we're just going to leave this here. It's done. You can lock it if you want. I wouldn't because uh, we're going to use it in another lesson later. All right, next, go through the rest of the image. Feel free to make her flesh tone, um, whatever flesh tone is. Um, natural, whether she's African-American or Caucasian or whichever you select, um, please uh, don't do purple or green or some alien-like flesh tone. 
uh, it'll make life a little harder. I do want to show you over here in the example. It's the same steps. Um, I just merged it down. And if you look, there are some, you know, a necklace, the stars. You really got to zoom in. And you can see the eyes, the eyebrows. There's some different pieces here. And that there's a belt that has some different uh, colors to it. It's very important that you keep that color the same because whenever we do our next session, we're going to use a magic wand tool and we're just going to select all of the colors there. Let's say we want to colorize just her skin. We select it here. And if you remember before, we would right click, new layer via cut, and then we would just uh, lock it in and render it. That's it for now. Thank you and um, get your flats done on Catchu. See ya.